पर तो बैक टू खुद के बोलो विद मां नया साल है और उसके साथ एक नया वीडियो सो व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टुडे समथिंग दैट कंसर्न्स एवरी अदर वुमन बहुत सारा कपड़े लेकिन कुछ भी नहीं पहनने के लिए यानी अ वॉटर फुल ऑफ क्लोथ्स बट नथिंग टू वेयर एंड फॉर दैट टुडे वी हैव विद अस जेनी गांधी who is an image professional and is also body confidence coach she runs her own image academy and she is going to give us some great tips here today so jenny tell us uh, why do women really like to shop and how do they have this wardrobe full of clothes all of us have this issue that we have a wardrobe full of clothes but we have nothing to wear so what why do you think this happens i think we love to wear new things every time you know with the इतनी चीजें हैं हमारे पास ऑप्शंस भी कि आपको साड़ी पहननी है या सलवार कमीज पहननी है और यू वेंट टू जीन्स एंड टॉप और स्कर्ट एंड प्लस फॉर फ्यूजन लुक सो वी आर सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड विद एवरी ओकेजन एवरी इवेंट और इवन अ स्मॉल बर्थडे पार्टी वी वांट कि हम हमेशा डिफरेंट दिखे तो अब हम हमारा बॉटल ऑफ मल्टीप्लाई नहीं कर सकते इसलिए हम कॉन्स्टेंटली जाते हैं एंड वी कीप ऑन माइंड थिंग्स आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स द दैट्स द रीजन व्हाई वी हैव सो मेनी क्लोथ्स टू वेयर Okay, uh, guys. I don't know if you guys. Uh, I've talked about it earlier on my um, social channels or not. But Jenny did this very interesting project called Three Sixty Five Days, Three Sixty Five Outfits, where she used a very few items from her wardrobe and was go rotate. Yeah, she rotated those uh, outfits and wore them the entire year. So, Jenny, tell me where did that concept came across and how do you manage it? So I am an image consultant, and I work with a lot of private clients. And my clients used to keep on telling me that, oh, but you can do this because it comes very naturally to you. But we never understood that this same printed skirt we can style it in all kinds of ways. And that's when I thought that if this is a basic problem, then why doesn't let me catalog? Because it's a different thing. 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 It's Especially when we like to dress up, adapt it to our daily lives. What are your tips? You know, because we look, we want to look good. You know, we look, we might want to use less of our wardrobe, but we still want to look good and different each time. Okay. So there are very basic tips to it. The first one is whenever you have a piece in your wardrobe that you are only able to wear it, say, a one particular way, but you are tired of using it a particular way, then go to Pinterest. Pinterest has people from across the world, and you will find something that. fits your need your style and what you want to do so for example you have a black and white floral or a checkered skirt and you've always been wearing it with a black or a white blouse on just go to pinterest you might find someone wearing it with a graffiti tee or you might find it someone wearing with a color blocked color you know a red color with that skirt you don't know you find crazy things on pinterest pick what fits your style and just go ahead with it because even when i'm confused today i go to pinterest i write down what's required and i'm sorted with it The second tip is when you're looking for inspiration, look for inspiration for genuinely people who are your age range. Uh, I am 26 today. I cannot look at a 18-year-old blogger, or I cannot look at someone who's 16-year-old and the way she wears a skirt is so will not fit my needs. It might fit my body, but not my needs. So always follow people who are in your similar age range or similar work range, but something which is very similar to what you're. looking at starting right. and that becomes easy to work your wardrobe around interest whenever you are going to shop something the third tip is if you can't utilize that piece in three different ways then don't buy it so if it's this top and i wear it always with the blue jeans i wear it one time two time three time the fourth time i will be tired because of the way it looks always right so small nuances i change my earrings every time i wear this top Or I wear a blue pant, a red trouser, or say a, a black jeans, or a different bag, or a different bag. Yeah. Even small things in that whole approach, because we are a picture generation, right? Yeah. We take pictures so often, and if you see, oh, I'm always wearing this top. You are not going to wear this top the fifth time, sixth time, and then. So Jenny, uh, you were telling me about uh, capsule wardrobe. That's a very interesting concept. What does it mean, and how can you build one? Okay, so capsuling is a very old concept. You know, traditionally in India, we have always been doing it. Eight leggings they liya, five shoes they liya, all of them with sarees. You know, I don't remember my grandmother having like a separate blouse for every saree. They had these cotton blouses and saree, and they would wear that. So, capsuling is a modern thing. 
Now with this whole retail thing coming in, people have stopped capsuling. So अभी भी blue pant और black jeans पे people know कि कोई भी top चलेगा. But capsuling means कि जैसे मैंने ये top खरीदा है, तो besides blue pant and black pant, how can I wear this? So say with a skirt or with shorts, that's what capsuling means. Okay. Five quick tips to capsule your wardrobe is first save and spend. You always save on trendy items. जैसे animal print is a trend right now. You go to any store, animal print is there. Don't spend so much on it because it's a trend. It will come and go in three, four months, and you'll be left with that whole stock and nothing to do with it. You save on those items and you spend on classics. A classic for me is a blue denim black pant. That's my wardrobe classic. So I'm going to spend on it. I will see what fits me best. Okay. The second point is lifestyle. It is extremely important that your wardrobe works for your lifestyle. My wardrobe cannot be a borrowed concept from someone else's wardrobe. So a friend of mine loves wearing short dresses, but that's not what I like. I cannot have ten short dresses that don't work for me. So the second one is that make your wardrobe work for your lifestyle. The third point is that if you can't combine that piece in three different ways, then you're not capturing. Meaning, वो एक pant, एक top, या that similar सलवार का piece is going to be you're going to wear it in the same way, and after wearing it three times, four times, ten times, you will be tired. Okay. So whenever you're shopping it, see to it that you can wear it in three different ways. The fourth point is wear what you like. Meaning, just like I said earlier, don't buy something just because your friend has bought it, or don't buy something just because you have a gift for it. It has to work for you. And that takes me to my fifth point that you have to enjoy what you buy and you have to enjoy what you wear. And you will only enjoy, you will only wear what you like or feel good about what you're wearing. Is if your wardrobe works for you and you don't feel this need to मुझे हर बार बाहर जा के कुछ ना कुछ खरीदना है, so you absolutely enjoy जो तुमने buy किया है, don't feel guilty after buying it कि you spend so much, but once it's there in your wardrobe, see to it that you wear it multiple times. So thank you so much, Jenny, for this insightful session. I am sure my audience and followers have learned so much from you and uh, taken tips on styling, on capsuling wardrobe. Looking at Instagram and Pinterest for uh, inspiration, and there's so much out there, guys. And uh, it's amazing that how you know we keep on shopping and buying stuff and loading our wardrobes with stuff, like filling it up and still have nothing to wear. So I'm sure that problem is getting sorted. <laughs> I'm better.